Hey guys, <clears throat> hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. Oh yes, it has recently come to my attention that my original LP of um, Resident Evil uh, 1 is kind of shoddy and uh, very poor. Um, now, no, we don't want to see all of this stuff. Resident Evil is my favourite game series of all time. And recently I've uh, met someone called Jimmy Fails on YouTube. And we have been talking Resident Evil for quite a while. In fact, we've done some um, stuff together. And... He's actually gone back and, 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 and watched my original Resident Evil LP. And my God, I, I almost feel embarrassed. So, what I've been thinking for a while now is redoing every single Resident Evil game. And what is particularly bad about my Resident Evil one is I use save states. <gasps> And apparently, I didn't even remember this, but I played it on easy. Wait, what? Uh, I don't want to go back and watch my original LP because no thanks. But and I am going to keep it up there. But I think it's time that we 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 <laughs> rectify past sins, should we say? So we are running this on a PlayStation Two Slim. We are using a memory card, and. We're going on advanced, arranged mode. So, I've never played arranged mode before. And I, although I have played this game on hard uh, 15, 16, 17 years ago, uh, this is going to be interesting. I have seen a little bit of my, my, my buddy playing his i've seen the first as the time of this recording i've seen the first um four parts and my god it's harder it's much harder there's more enemies there's less ammo you take more damage i believe there's less ammo i might be wrong about that um there's more enemies they take more shots you take more damage and there's a lot more enemies, I should say. Um, all the items in the game, all the keys, all of the pickups, puzzle items are all in different areas. So, this is going to be like me playing the game from scratch. I'm not going to be using a guide or any walkthroughs or anything like that. I'm probably going to die a lot. So be prepared for that. If you're looking for a perfect pro run of the game, this is not going to be it. And my friend Jimmy fails. His channel uh, and his playlist for this, actually, is going to be linked in the description as well. So please give him a watch because it's thoroughly entertaining. Um, anyway, without any further BS, let's once again head back to the Spencer Mansion. Just like we did in that January of 2012. My God, has it been that long? And we are using a decent microphone this time. And we are using real hardware. So what do you say, guys? Once more we're feeling? Evil. Might actually be able to hear the PlayStation loading here as well. Um, right, so we're going to go Jill. Uh, Jimmy's doing Chris. Chris. I'm going to start with Jill. He's more familiar with the, the game as Chris. I'm more familiar with the game as Jill. Not that that's going to make too much difference because we are going to do Chris as well, obviously, because we're not going to play half the game. Um, as for how frequent these videos are going to be, I also don't know because of the difficulty of this game and my limited recording time and how much I can actually, you know, keep going after being killed and blah, 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 blah. Um, but we're going to see what we can do. So, let's pick our girl, Jill. 
and head back to the fun house. Uh, I'm looking forward to this, but I'm also concerned. Our handgun can now perform, if we're lucky, a critical hit, which will make the enemy heads explode, which is nice. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. <laughs> oh my god. I think Chris looks pretty good. Jill. Jill uh, ish, I guess. Barry. Barry, Barry Burton. Barry's my boy. Rebecca Chambers. Rebecca is, well, I mean, she's Rebecca. Albert oh Wesker. my god. How fucking cool is Wesker, though? Email. Oh, man. That intro. They have escaped into the mansion. Where they thought it was safe. Oh, I feel so good to play this. Yet. Dot, dot, dot. What is, <laughs> what is this? Wow. What a mansion. What a mansion. <laughs> oh, man. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop. Don't open that Don't door. Open that door. <laughs> so is what is it? <laughs> Maybe it's Chris. Oh my god. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Handle what? What are you handling, Wesker? Being a treacherous goit. Stay alert. Oh, we're stay alert. Don't you worry about that, buddy boy. Now, whilst uh, Jill and Baza go and check out the dining room, Wesker's gonna sit in there and fuck off somewhere. A dining, dining room. room. It is Baza. 
Your powers of deduction are impressive, sir. So, what do we have? We have an F8 spray, we have a knife, and we have the Beretta. Let's check the Beretta. A Beretta. Automatic. Custom edition. So, yeah, the, I mean, I don't know if in the original game you have the custom edition, but in this is the custom edition, which does... Uh, there's nothing inside. There is... Um, some good shit uh, attached to this pistol. You can do the, you can perform the, the headshots, which is fantastic. I remember a rumor in school that if you keep searching the end of this desk, dinner utensils, dinner utensils, dinner utensils, you could actually get the shotgun early. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. I remember, I remember this. What? What is this? What you got, Baza? What is it? <laughs> Blood. See if you can find any other clues. Any other clues. Don't worry, we're going to look for clues. This is not Chris's nah. That's not Chris. Chris! Right, so we can already see there is a hollow space beneath the shield. Mm hmm. So, we already have a missing uh, item. Straight off the bat. I want to bring more Resident Evil back to my channel. So, where should we go, Jill? Let's actually get our gun in our hand, shall we, so we can feel a little bit safer. Whilst Baz is looking at the uh, blood. We'll go through here. Now, I know Resident Evil 1 very well, but this arranged mode totally changes everything. Notice we've got a different costume here as well. We will have a look at the other one later on. Oh, God, I remember my disappointment of getting this game originally. And there it is. There's our first zombie. Alright there, fella. You having a bit of a munch? Ooh, who's a pretty boy then? Right. Okay, come on, dude. This way. This way. Come see Barry. Come see Barry. Barry's got his little friend that wants to have a little word with you. Look out! It's a monster! It certainly is. The music. Barry? <laughs> what is it? It's a monster! Let me go, Bazza! Boom! Boom! Pow! Nice work, Bazza. What? <laughs> what? Is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Well. He may have been killed by that creature. Let's report this to Wesker. I mean, to be fair, that creature was um, eating Kenneth's face. So I would say it's fairly logical to assume that Kenneth was killed by that guy. Uh, also, uh, I remember my disappointment in getting this game originally. Um, I didn't play this when it was new, new. Wesker! Help me look for him. You got it, Bazza. And don't leave this hall for the time being. All right, Baz. We'll do that. Okay. Right. Well, I'm just going to have a quick look around here. He's definitely not here. He's not hiding. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? can't figure it out at all. Beats me too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay, I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor. Okay? You got it, Baza. And Jill. Here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Well, thank you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. I think we're going to need it, Jill. Don't you worry about that. All right, Barry. Godspeed, my friend. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Okay. But how are we going to know if this time something happens? And what do you mean, this time you will be here? Is there a 
particular time in Resident Evil history that you weren't there? Or are you talking about that zombie that you decapitated with three shots from your magnum? Hmm. Right, anyway, we are going to follow Baza this way. Yeah, so my first memories of this game, really, was... we. I didn't get a lot of games back when I was a kid for my PlayStation. And, uh, well, when I was a kid, really, because obviously, you know, games were expensive. Now, my dad used to rent me a game every week. And... I used to, well, we, me and my friend whipped ourselves up to, into a fever pitch frenzy. Let's go see Kenneth, see if he's got any goodies for us. Uh, for Resident Evil 2. We had the demo. We played the hell out of the demo. We loved it. Absolutely loved the game. And uh, we waited and waited for it to come out. We played the demo every single night. It was only a time-limited demo as well, but we played it every single night. We loved it over and over and over again. So we've got two clips. Very nice. And um, when my dad came to ask me what game that week that I wanted, uh, Resident Evil 2 would come out, and I said, Dad, 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 I want Resident Evil 2. Remember, Resident Evil 2, not Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 2. Don't forget, Dad, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 2. Don't forget, it's Resident Evil 2, not Resident Evil 1. Not Resident Evil, we want Resident Evil 2. So what did he do? He went out, came back Resident Evil 1. Bless him. <laughs> and uh, I was so disappointed. I, I can't even explain. Blaine, my disappointment. Um, oh. And I put it on, and obviously it's totally different to Resident Evil 2, and it's slower and it's more confusing. I didn't know what I was doing. I played, and I was terrified. Did I mention that? I was terrified of this game. It shit me up something fierce. Also, what else? New camera angles. Oh, yes. New camera angles in this mode. But this game shit me up something fierce. And I remember I started trying to play play it, and I, eventually I just grew to love it and enjoy it um, over time. I mean, Resident Evil 2 is very, very, very different. It's It feels more open, even though it's not. And it's just, I don't know. It just, it's less claustrophobic than this game. This game has such a different vibe and feel to it. And I could actually tell visually the graphics uh, were a lot better. Yay, we used our lockpick um, on Resident Evil 2. These days, I find it very difficult to tell <laughs> when these two are running together. But hey, if old me thought they were better, then so be it. But yeah, so I played this game by accident. Now, do we have anything under ha? We do not have anything under ha. But we do have our friendly doggos. But are not so friendly in this game. Three rounds. Three rounds is all he gets. Come on, buddy. Come on. There you go. Poop. Poop. And how many are you going to take? Four. Five. You was a greedy pooch. Alright. Well, let's give this a shove because there's a magazine under here. Oh, thank you. Nice. See, we've got a good amount of rounds at the moment. But I don't know how that's going to last. Now, can we get the shotgun off the bat? Is Baza going to do us a solid? I like our outfit as well. It's cool. We have a herb here. We take the herb. Now, we can't open that door, can we? Because I think we need the shield key. It's either the shield key or the sword key. Oh, it's an armor key. Fair, fair. Now, in the original uh, unarranged version, there's nothing in this door. Nothing in this room. You don't need to go in here as Jill. As Chris, there's a small key. Oh. Oh, there's a zombie in here. Uh, we're not going to play with a zombie. Oh, it was a magazine. Uh, cool beans. Whether there's anything else in there, I don't know. So, we've already encountered one zombie. But we haven't seen in the original game. Which is pretty freaking cool. 
Now, do I want to risk going in here? You can see this door is not like the other doors. This is an animated door. It's a 3D model door, I should say. All right, Gio, what do you reckon? Oof, look at that camera angle. What do you reckon, Jill? What's going to be in here, though? Oh, oh, we got lots of zombies. Oh, my God. Um, Come on. Oh, shit. On a shovel. Right, we've dropped him. Let's grab the shotgun, because we never need to come back in here. So we don't want to clean this house out. Uh, right, run past the fucker. The door. Cool. Now, is Barry going to save us? Uh, I guess. Okay, so we are proper fucked. So I guess Barry is going to save us? Because I think if you play as Chris, you can go back into the other room and put the shotgun back. I think. My memory with Chris is not fantastic. Look Jill's just like looking around at it. Hey, what's going, what's going on? on? Uh, the roof's coming down. Yeah, there he is. Jill? Is that you, Jill? What happened? Perry? Help me, please. The door won't open. Quick! Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna take mm -hmm. this door. You do it, Bazza. Boom! Hurry! Well, what way, way did you think I was gonna go, Bazza? Into the other room with all the zombies? <sighs> Bazza, I worry about you sometimes. Oh, Barry! That was too close. You were almost a jiggle <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. But, Barry, didn't you see you're going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris. The lost captain we? and Chris. You got it, Bazza. Notice how he's actually, like, grey in this. Thank you, Barry. <laughs> it's nothing. Uh, yeah, notice how he's actually grey in this. In um, the intro cutscene, he's actually got like ginger hair, which I thought was a bit strange. Never mind. I guess it was too hard to animate him with. Ooh, we have another zombie. There should be two in here. Need to be a little bit careful with bullets because. He's now dead. Oh, we unlocked it. Okay, so I want to pick and choose our enemies to start with. Oh, that camera angle's different. Uh, oh, fuck, I don't like that. Definitely do not like that. Oh, nice. Let's clear these guys out. Now... Are you bleeding out? I think you are. I don't really want to put a round into you just in case. That was expensive on the old ammo, but it always is to start with. Now let's use Jules' uh, special ability, which is extra large pockets, to pick all this stuff up. <laughs> And we are almost on half an hour, so considering how much time I actually have today. Ooh, right. So there's the broken shotgun. We do not need it. We do not need that. We do not need that. I hope, at least not for now. We don't need that. We don't need that. We, I, we, we'll put the shotgun back for now. Um, right. Let's take the clips. Or the magazines, as it should say. But hey, let's not split hairs. 30. That makes us feel a little bit better. And what we can do... We'll go back out here. We'll go see if we can do a puzzle. 
Just quickly. I mean, there hasn't been nothing too extreme so far, but the game is literally just getting started. We've got a Zambi. Oh, there's the Zambi. Oh, hey, Zambi. Let's reset you so we don't get munched. Because obviously Jill is weaker than Chris as well. She takes a lot more damage, or she doesn't, can't take as much damage, whichever way you want to put it. It feels great to be playing this. Come on. Let's hear that pop. Are you dead? You're not dead. So there's an extra Zambi in here. Um, can we deal with that guy? Possibly. He's taking a wide angle. Yes. You snooze, you lose, my friend. So he's always going to spawn in that uh, hallway, which hopefully we can manipulate a little bit. We're going to leave him alive for now. So, the picture is entitled, From Cradle to Grave. Alright. Let's have a little look, shall we? Picture of a tired middle-aged man. There is a switch below. Will you push it? No. So, what we want... Uh, there's the baby. I want the picture of a newborn baby. Yes. And then there should be a picture of an infant somewhere. Which is that one? No, that's the lively boy. Where's the infant? It's that one. Picture of an infant, yep. So we want that bad boy. There we go. And we want the lively boy. There we go. I. Uh, so we've got the lively boy, we've got the infant. What's that? Young man, yeah. And then we want the middle-aged man, which is over here, I believe. My memory serves me correctly. Picture of a tired middle-aged man, yes. Yeah. And then we want the old man. This this whole game just really unnerved me when I was a kid. Like, I mean, we're just talking about life stages here and death. It's It's very fucked up. Uh, I mean, looking back at this game now, it's just funny and very slapstick. But it really did scare the, the bejesus out of me when I was a lad. So, what do we get behind here? A crest. Okay. We got the wind crest. Right. Yes, because I believe Jimmy uh, forgot that one. Because he forgot uh, to do this puzzle. I remember now. There's going to be lots of mistakes and, and, and errors in this. If, if Like I say, this is not going to be a speed run. This is going to be full of uh, <laughs> problematic bullshit. But we're going to run it together. We don't have the key to that door yet. What are we on? We're on almost half an hour here. It's kind of early to be putting down a save. But at the same time, uh, let's have a little look up here. I don't... I can't remember how many say well how many ink ribbons there are. I mean, there's there's a few, but I don't know if they've reduced them for this difficulty. Oh, there's a zombie up there. All right, can we hit the zombie? Can we not hit the zombie? Oh no. Well, that's well, he's going to get a free bite on us, isn't he? Well, that won't do. We're not having that. We've just wasted three bullets as well, which again doesn't sound like a lot, but three bullets in this game is three bullets. This isn't like normal mode where you have enough ammo to take on an army of zombies. This is <laughs> this is different. This is where you're rummaging through your, your shirt pocket to find the last two nine mil bullets that you, you put in there earlier. Right, let's go up. Yeah, we've oh god. Right, can we yeah, we can go up and around him. That's fine. Okay, so we've unlocked this door. We do have a good amount of bullets so far. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, head pop. Just what we wanted. Now, it looks like we're literally in bullet paradise. But I promise this will not last. And there will definitely be zombies. There will definitely be zombies that we can't put down. At least, I think. 
Okay. So, what do we have here? Is there anything in this room? I can't see anything glinting. We've got the book. Botany book. About medicinal herbs. As you may know, there are many plants that have uh, medicinal effects. Since ancient times, humans have been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we are going to sample three herbs that grow around the Raccoon Mountains and give their outlines as examples of plants which medical or uh, oh with medical properties each herb has different colors and different effects as medical plants the green one recovers physical strength the blue one neutralizes natural toxins whilst the red one does not have any effect by itself the red herb only is only effective when it is mixed with other herbs for example if you mix this herb with the herb that recovers physical strength, the recovery effect will be tripled. By adjusting the amount and experimenting with these three herbs, you can create various kinds of medicines. But I'll leave the details in your hands, because that's the best way to acquire true knowledge. Mm -hmm. So we have the botany book. I don't want to go through that door yet. Because we've got all those zombies on the other side. It is well arranged, Jill. I'll give you that. So for now, we're on 32 minutes, so I'm kind of pushing my time limit here a little bit. Um, we have you. That needs... That's the armor key, isn't it? No. Yes, it's the armor key we need for that one. Right. Okay. Well, let's make our way back to the save room and call it there for now. So we've just got that git there. Let's get rid of him. Oh, nice. We don't really need to get rid of that other guy. Not yet. But now we have a little bit of leeway. And again, I don't want to be burning through a save right now. But my break is over and I need to go back to work. So... I'm on a very strict time limit. So, ink ribbons are going to be a premium for me, I think. But we have got one wind crest. We need four. We've got one. So, progress. Broken shotgun, we definitely don't want to go anywhere near that thing. Uh, we've got 58 rounds left, which is way more than it sounds. Or, <laughs> sounds way more than it is, I should say. Okay. So, I need to remember what rooms we've been in. And I'm going to write that down. Yes, we will use an ink ribbon. Uh, no data. This is a fresh memory card. And there we are, Jimmy. Red. It's red. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're going to enjoy this with me. And as always, till next time.